guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I achieve this simple, velvety, soft gothic glam look using only liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows. As you can see, it's a very simple um, black to burgundy kind of smudgy eyeshadow look, and it's really simple to achieve. To me, the appeal of liquid lipsticks is that they are super pigmented, and this is also their strength as an eyeshadow, because they give for a really, really intense look. Liquid lipsticks come in a wide range of shades, and so it also expands my eyeshadow collection because I can use all of my liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows if I choose to. My main tips when using liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows is, first of all, safety. Make sure that the liquid lipstick you're using is eye safe. A lot of them aren't marketed as eye safe, but if you feel like you are confident that the liquid lipstick won't give your eyes an allergic reaction, then go for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend using liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows if you have sensitive eyes, just because liquid lipsticks aren't necessarily eye safe. Some are, such as Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, but you should probably look into it and make sure you're not going to have an allergic reaction to the liquid lipstick before you apply it all over your eyes first. Another thing to consider when using liquid lipsticks is they might stain your eyelids. Um, pink pigments and red pigments especially tend to stain for me and many other people. So if you're using a red or a pink shade on your eyes, you might find that you have stained eyelids afterwards. So that is something to consider if you're painting your whole lid red. Um, just think about you might have red or pink eyelids tomorrow. And the final thing that I think is important to consider when using liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows is that they dry pretty quickly and they'll probably set on your lids very fast. I love that liquid lipsticks are matte when they dry because it gives for a really velvety, lush kind of finish, but you want to work with your product very quickly, otherwise it might set in place in a position that you don't necessarily want it to, and it might become very difficult to blend out afterwards. So as soon as I apply my product, I go straight in with my buffing brush to place the product in the place that I want it to be and to blend it as quickly as possible before the product sets. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look and I hope you are just as much as I am. If you're interested in how I achieved it, please keep on watching. As you can see, I've already applied some of my base layer products. So I've applied a matte full coverage foundation, concealer, I've set my face and I've also done a little bit of contouring slash bronzing. Um, and I'm going to go straight in with the products now that are going to kind of make the main part of this look. I'm using Vampira from Kat Von D, which is a dark burgundy. Um, this I purchased long before any of the drama, and I'm not going to bin it just because there was drama. So I'm just going to use up the product today. And I'm going to also be using this shade called Friday, and this is from Colourpop. And so these are the two shadows and lip colours that we'll be using today. I might be brave and actually go in with Vampira on the cheeks as well, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to be starting off by applying Vampira directly onto my lid, and I'm going to be using this brush from Real Techniques. It's just a flat buffing brush like this and I've already primed and set my lids so I'm going to go straight in for it. And I'm careful to only apply a small amount of product because I can always add more product on later if there's not enough but I can't take away product as easily if I've already placed it on the lid. So I'm just using it straight from the applicator and then once I feel like I've got a fair bit amount on my lid I'm just going to really gently blend it out with the brush. Once I've packed it on in the general shape that I want to achieve, which is kind of just like a semicircle over my entire lid, I'm going to then grab another brush just to buff it all out. This is the brush I'll be using to blend it out a little bit better. It's just this little shader brush from Real Techniques as well. I'm just going to blend the edges so that it blurs into my skin. As you can see, I've blended that in pretty well now, and now I'm going to go in on the other eye. I'm working on one eye at a time, that way I can quickly work with the product before it sets. So I've just applied the product, then I'm going to make it into the shape that I'm after, and then I'll blend it afterwards. Now that I've placed that red shade evenly over my upper lid, I'm going to go in on my lower lash line using that same brush that we used to place product in the beginning. And I'm just going to be using the excess from the brush to kind of buff down onto the lower lash line a little bit. I'm going to take about halfway under the eye. And then using the brush that we used to blend the product earlier, I'm just going to blend the lower lash line. So using the brush that we used to place the product earlier, this has more product on the brush. And so by only taking that to halfway down the lower lash line, it means that that is a more pigmented part. And then by blending it with the only blending brush, I'm able to get a little bit of color towards the front of the lower lash line without getting it too intense at the front there. 
now that we've done that all over the eye we're now going in with our next shade which is going to be black I'm going to take the shade Friday straight from the applicator and apply it to the center of the lid now that I've placed that product there I'm going to take that brush that we used to place product earlier and I'm going to place it over all the areas I would like to be more intensely black I've also used the same technique as earlier to take that along the lower lash line and now I'm going to blend it all out using the same blending brush as earlier. And you know how when you're blending something on your lower lash line, this is a very high creasy kind of area, you can get a lot of creases along your lower lash line. Um, a way that I use to like kind of reduce how many creases I have when I'm buffing things over my lower lash line is I tilt my head forwards and I blend that way. I feel like by doing that I'm not looking downwards and so I'm not creating creases on my lower lash line. By looking upwards it kind of stretches that part of the lid because by doing this and looking forward you're kind of lifting your lower lash line as high up as it'll go and it kind of makes it a bit more smooth and easier to blend things out on. It looks kind of strange but when you're blending usually you're looking straight forwards and that creates creases on both the lower and upper lash line. I've decided I actually won't be using any blush for this look just because I feel like this look doesn't call for it. I'm actually going to increase the darkness of my brows just because now that I've blended this out my brows are looking kind of light in comparison. And I'm just using this Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil and it's in the shade Black and Brown. Now that I've deepened up my brows to better match my eye colour, I'm going to be going in with this Super Shock Cheek product from Colourpop in the shade Lunch Money and I'm just going to be highlighting the tops of my cheeks with a angled highlighter brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to be popping that right on the top of my cheeks there. And that will bring some brightness back to the look and bring a further lightness and dimension to the face. I'm also going to be taking that on the tip of the nose on the brow bone, cupid's bow, and also down the bridge of the nose, just a little bit like that. The brush I'll be using on my brow bone is this shader brush, and this is just from Real Techniques. Next, I'm going to be applying these lashes from Kiss, and they're just in this flared design, because I feel like that works best on my eye shape, and I'm going to be using the duo lash glue. As you can see, there's a little bit of lash glue still drying on this eye, but that really adds so much more darkness to the eye look and further deepens it up. I'm not actually going to be applying a wing for this look just because I feel like there is already so much darkness around the eyes that we don't really need it. And also, I don't think it's going to add much. So now that we're already here, I don't think we need a wing. Next, I'm going to be going in with my lip products. And the beauty of this look is that they are the same products as I used on my eyes. So it doesn't really take many products to create this look. I'm going to be going in first with my black liquid lipstick around the perimeters of my lips and kind of the areas where I want it to look more deeper in and then I'm going to be going over the whole thing and more towards the center with the red so it gives more dimension to the lips. that's how I'm going to outline the perimeter of my lips and now I'm going to go in with the shade Vampira and go in the center of my lips. And that's the lip. As you can see, or maybe you can't, I've got a little bit of mess just above my cupid's bow and just down there. So I'm going to go in with this concealer brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to conceal around the edges just to clean that up. The concealer I'm going to be using is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable 25 Hour Concealer and I'm just going to drag it around the edges. I've just taken this fine liner brush just to blur some of the edges and get more precise details correct on my lip but you can also use this kind of a brush just to take that black lipstick to outline your lips in first with this precise detailer brush before you go in with the red lipstick for a more precise line around your lips. And yeah, that is the completed simple gothic vampy look. I hope you enjoyed this look and found it interesting. Of course, you can use liquid lipsticks in a variety of different ways. You could use a nude liquid lipstick as a nice transition shade or something like that. And I feel like it gives a great monochromatic look to the face and really makes it a lot more cohesive because the colours on your eyes match your lips so well. If you enjoyed this look, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel so you can do so. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in a future one soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!
Thank mm-hmm. you.